What's up, YouTube? This is Jeff. Um, it is Sunday, September 25th, um, just before midnight, so it'll probably be in the wee hours of Monday by the time I upload this. Um, I am one month, two weeks, and two days on testosterone. Uh, my fourth shot was Thursday, and it was the third one that I did all by myself. Uh, I did it with my girlfriend, and I still had a little bit of anxiety, um, especially during... Uh, like not really getting the needle in when I pull the plunger up to check to see if there's blood that part really just skews me out and I just feel really queasy um, and anxious during it uh, like I broke a full sweat which was really weird um, but I'm imagining that that anxiety will go down uh, over time and that eventually it'll just become second nature to me so in terms of changes um, I have a lot more hair most notably thigh hair. Um, I guess it's sort of all over my body. It's coming in like blonde or really light brown, but um, the thighs are where I notice it the most right now. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting more facial hair. I just feel like it's growing in a lot more quickly. Um, I shaved maybe like four hours ago and already I feel like sandpaper. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have a lot more energy right around the time of my shot in the first week. That second week, right before my next shot, is when it starts to dwindle down and I just feel pretty lethargic. Um, I'm getting bulkier in general, I think. Um, maybe just gaining muscle, gaining weight, and um, my fat is moving more to my stomach, so I've been trying to work out to prevent looking like I have a beer gut. Um, my voice has been dropping slowly but surely. Um, my throat hurts a lot like all the time. Um, I've been drinking tea and uh, taking like those Hall's lo lozenges to try and fight that, but um, it just really sucks. And I actually went on this uh, forum and some trans guys were saying that they were having similar problems where their throat just constantly hurt, um, especially during the first couple months of taking tea. So I guess that is, you know, one of those your mileage may vary things. Um, because I didn't, in all the videos that I had watched, I never heard anyone complain about a sore throat. I feel like I have barbed wire in my neck. So that sucks. Um, but that's pretty much it in the way of changes. Um, so I figured to make this video a little bit more interesting, I would talk about how I came up with my chosen name. Um, my name is Jeffrey Daniel. Uh, first name Jeffrey, even though I, I prefer Jeff. Jeffrey just seems a little bourgeois, but uh, I do prefer Jeff. Um, I picked it because it sounds a lot like my given name, um, and I wanted there to be this really close connection um, to the name that my parents gave me without just picking the masculine version of my name, which does exist, but um, frankly, I, I wanted some distance from my old name, but not too much, so Jeff just happened to work out really nicely. And I actually came up with Jeff when I was like 12 or 13. Um, I'd go into chat rooms and just dick around under the nickname Jeff. Um, and I really enjoyed being referred to with uh, male pronouns and just knowing that people in the room believed me to be a guy, not like I was in there so often, but there was just this really validating feeling to, um, to have this anonymous facade where I could go by Jeff and feel really comfortable. So that was pretty cool. Um, so even as early as like 12, that was, the, that was the name I wanted to go with. When I was really little, like four or five, um, I thought that I was a little boy named Kevin. I came up with Kevin because I was really obsessed with uh, Macaulay Culkin and Home Alone. It was like my favorite movie. And you know, when you're a five-year-old kid, he was awesome. So I thought that I was a little boy named Kevin and my real parents were gonna come and whisk me away. Um, but clearly that was not the case. So I sort of forgot about Kevin and Jeff was just something I came up with right before I hit puberty, um, forgot about. And then when I started questioning my identity and my gender and my sexuality sort of well the sexuality came first but really when I started questioning my gender was when I remembered Jeff and I realized that that was why I was doing that and um, I mean at the time I guess I thought I was going by Jeff because I knew I liked girls um, and I went to Catholic school my whole life and I was sort of sheltered I didn't even really know what gay people were I had never heard of what transgender was until I was in high school so uh, so I sort of figured things out, and I really, I really came to like the name Jeff after all that. Um, and my middle name is Daniel. Um, even though I'm an atheist, you know, I didn't pick Daniel for religious purposes or anything, but my parents did give me a Christian middle name when I was born, um, totally different than Daniel, in no way related to Daniel. Um, but they did pick it because uh, my mom is old school Italian Catholic, and that's just sort of the tradition. Um, when you're naming a kid, if you don't give them a biblical first name, you're supposed to give them, you know, a Christian middle name. 
Um, so Daniel was the biblical name that I liked the best, or really I should say like, I didn't hate it. You know, uh, it, it sort of rolled off nicely. I liked it. So that was what I picked. I didn't really put a whole lot of thought in my middle name. It was just sort of like a, oh, Daniel, that works. So JD, Jeff Dan, Jeffrey Daniel. Um, I mean, originally when I was coming out to my parents, um, I really wanted to know what they would have named me if I was born male. Um, but my mom never really told me. I think she was just really overwhelmed and sort of knew that if she told me that was the name that I was going to go by. And I think she was clinging and still is clinging very much to my old name. Um, she told me months later that she would have named me Matthew, but by that point, um, people were already calling me Jeff. I was going by Jeff, my girlfriend, all my friends were using male pronouns and Jeff. It just seemed really weird to, to switch when I already had like this, you know, relationship with that other name. So I just kept it as is. And I even offered to her, like I could take Matt as my middle name, but she didn't want to hear it. She already knew what name I picked. And to be honest, I think she was really happy that I, I considered her and my dad's choice um, in picking my new name. Um, she said that a couple times, so even though she's not calling me by that name, and um, she insists on using my given name over and over and over um, in front of people in the house in public doesn't matter, I, I'm still letting it slide because she has said to me several times that she appreciated that I really um, considered her and my dad in picking my name. So that's that. Um, I have known many trans people that choose names that are just the masculine version. I've heard some people just choose a name arbitrarily that they really, really like. Uh, for me, and I imagine for a lot of people, it was really important to um, sort of get my parents' approval a little bit on it, just so that it felt more legitimate to me. Um, I know that's not the case with everyone. So tell me how you guys uh, came up with your names. I want to know all about your very interesting naming stories and uh, I will probably update in a week or two. Hopefully I'll have more changes and hopefully my throat isn't killing me.